Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Tim Lloyd. Um, thanks for hitting up my channel and for checking out this demo. Um, I am a checkpoint security engineer based out of the Chicago land market. And uh, I've made a few other videos posted out here. Um, hit an interesting project come up. I thought I would make a demo for you uh, regarding it since there wasn't a, a lot of good documentation. Um, what I want to do is show you how to create uh, a generic uh, RSYS log server uh, on Linux, particularly Ubuntu. Um, and, and the reason why you would want to do such a thing, um, just as an example, I have customers um, at Checkpoint who um, subscribe to our cloud security services on our Infinity platform. And so uh, in their Infinity portal, event logs are created. And oftentimes they wanna aggregate those logs um, to an on-prem device um, so that they can be ingested into a SIM where they can gain further intelligence um, and, and insights. And a, a Linux box running syslog, um, our syslog is a great way to do that. Um, you don't have to invest um, big time money into, um, you know, a um, a big time sim to make this happen that's running syslog, Linux, generic Linux box, and Ubuntu will do it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, and, and just as a heads up, um, I've got commands pasted into a notepad. Um, I'm going to put all of those stuff, uh, all those commands um, and everything that I'm talking about into the comments below. So if you want to um, get the the exact syntax, you'll find it in the comments. So no need going back and forth or taking notes. Um, let me share my desktop. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Now, um, here is my Linux server. Um, and uh, it's running in Azure. Um, and I'm just going to assume that's a prereq for this demo. You know how to build an Ubuntu server. Um, you can do it in Azure, uh, you can do it on-prem, you can do it in a VM, however you'd like to do it. If you do it in Azure, um, however, one of the things that I would call out is that you're going to, it's going to create um, an NSG, a network security group. Um, and within it, in that NSG, you're going to want to open up a couple ports. You're going to want to open up port 22. I'm, I need port 22 for SSH. I'm using um, this Putty client over SSH. Um, and also, you're going to want to open up a port for your syslog traffic um, over TCP. Um, for me, that port is 6514. Um, 514 is the, I guess, the standard port number for syslog. Um, and since we're going to be running this over TLS um, so that it's encrypted, I'm going with 6514. Um, you know, you can choose any port that you'd like. Um, so coming to um, our Ubuntu server, um, we're going to have to first load up a few packages. Um, and the first thing that I want to do uh, is just update the server with the latest and greatest packages. Um, that's something that you should do. It's a good uh, practice to have. Um, this one may be pretty up to date. I'm not 100% sure. I've done a whole bunch of different stuff to it. Um, looks like uh, it's up to date. Um, the next thing that we're going to want to do is install the uh, NTP network time protocol package. Yes. Uh, once that's complete, uh, we'll want to install OpenSSL. OpenSSL is uh, the package uh, application that we will use to create our keys and sign the certificate from the infinity portal, which is probably the most difficult part. Uh, when we get to that um, piece of it, uh, there will be a flurry com of commands, uh, but I'll walk you guys through it. Um, and then we are going to have to um, install our syslog, of course. All right, and once uh, syslog, our syslog is installed, we'll want to make it persistent so that after a reboot, um, 
it's automatically brought up and is running. All right, so we've made it persistent uh, upon a reboot. Um, the next thing that we're going to want to do is um, we're going to want to um, modify the our syslog comp file. So let's do that. Uh, VI, VI editor, fun program. If you have ever used it, can be kind of clunky to get around in. So Etsy, our syslog dot conf. Uh, what we're going to want to do, and we can really do this anywhere, um, is we're going to want to, um, we can just do it right here. We're going to want to uh, enter a couple of lines of syntax here. So this is, um, oh, we'll call it log location for events from the infinity portal. All right. And what we want to do is cut and paste this information. Um, this is going to instruct our syslog service to write the infinity portal logs to this directory, remote logs. Um, and then the server IP for the infinity portal um, that's hosting the service. And then um, we will get a log file with the append dependent extension dot log. And, and once it's on and running, we'll, we'll take a look at that. But we needed to add those so that we knew we want to know where the logs are going um, so that we can specify it later uh, for an upstream sim. Um, so let's get out of there. So we'll uh, save our work, WQ. Um, and then the next thing that we want to do is uh, we want to install TLS. So let's do that. All right, so now we've got TLS installed. Uh, we are going to want to modify uh, the TLS comp. Actually, you're going to want to create a file called TLS comp. Um, I like to do that in the same directory um, as the R syslog. So we'll go there right now sudo vi at c uh, TLS. No, R syslog d. TLS comp. There we go. So here's my TLS comp file. Um, all of this syntax um, I'm going to give you in the comments, uh, but just quickly um, looking at the most important elements, you're going to want to give the Arsys log service the location of your PEM files um, and your keys. Uh, that's what we have here on these three lines. Um, and you're going to want to start up 6514 as the listener port because that is the port that we're, we're traversing traffic over. Um, so those are the two of the most important things about TLS that I, I wanted to uh, cover with you guys. Um, if you're you're not good with VI editor, um, I'll also add uh, just a link for some quick VI editor commands. All right, so um, now that we have the TLS comp in place, um, what we're what we can do now is we can actually use Open SSL um, to create keys, to create PEM files, uh, and to sign them. All right, so now we have a CA Ubuntu dot key. Um, Okay, and then we're going to use OpenSSL to create that PEM to go along with that key. Now, um, to be honest, I don't really know. It's it's asking for some information to be entered. I'm not sure what's required and what's optional, um, but I'm just going to go along with some information. All right, so we're going to say U.S. for co uh, country code. I'm in Illinois. Um, um, sure, we're in Chicago, and uh, my organization is IT, my unit is security, 
Um, I'm not going to put an FQDN or an email. Okay. So now we've got a key anapem. So now we need to run another SSL command, open SSL command. Not sure what happened there. Grab that again. Udo. There we go. Keeps missing the L there. All right. There we go. And then we want to use OpenSSL to create a CSR. Now we have to add the same information. So it was US, Illinois, Chicago, um, IT, security, and no, no, I do have to put a challenge password in here. So maybe I don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna pass on that. We'll see what happens. All right, now we need to use OpenSSL to create the CRT. Okay, private key created. Let's look in our directory. All right, it's looking good. Now, um, what we're going to want to do now is come to our Infinity Portal, uh, click on this gear icon, and come to Event Forwarding. Um, you can see that I've got a couple of destinations um, where I've got some rules uh, sending logs to places. Uh, right now they're idle, no traffic is detected, so nothing's happening uh, because nothing's happening in my portal. Um, so the first thing that we're going to want to do um, is manage destinations. We're going to need to create a new destination. So we'll call, uh, well, first we need the IP address of our Ubuntu server. So let me grab that. I suppose I could have got that from the terminal box. All right. And let's call this... Um, New destination one. Yeah, that looks good. And again, we're 6514 on our port. We'll click next. Um, so we're going to have to download this CSR file from the Infinity portal, then upload it to our Ubuntu box so that it can be signed, and then we can pass it back to the Infinity portal um, as a CRT right here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Now I've already downloaded this CSR file. Um, here it is right here, um, and I need to move this to my Ubuntu server. Um, I have WinSCP opened, um, so if I refresh this, you'll see all the files that we just created. There they are. Um, so I'm going to drop this CSR here. Perfect. Now we're going to come back to our Ubuntu server and uh, use OpenSSL to sign that CSR to create a new CRT um, so that we can upload that CRT into the Infinity portal and create the connection. So to do that, we would do sudo. Um, and this is, this is the command. All right. So it looks like we're good there. So now if we come back to WinCSP, there should be a certificate CTR. So let's refresh that. There it is. We'll drop it back here local. Yes, we're going to overwrite what's in there. Now what we want to do is come back to the Infinity portal. We want to upload that CRT that we just created. So search CRT. And we also 
need to move over when SCP, we need to move over this PEM file. So let's overwrite the one that's there. And then we need to upload the PEM file. There it is. All right, now we can test connectivity and um, if the demo gods are good to us, everything will work great. Ooh, error, could not connect to destination. Well, um, that's not the end of the world. Let's come back to our Ubuntu server. We can take a look at the R syslog service first. So sudo um, system ctl um, um, status r syslog. What's going on here? Okay, so here's our error. Um, let's open this up some. Um, it cannot read. It can't read the files. It can't read the key file. It can't read the PEM file. So uh, that's most certainly an issue. Um, so let's fix that. So we need to do a ch mod here. So we're going to do a sudo ch mod six four four six four four ca dash ubuntu dot key. All right. Then we need to do um, the same thing for the pem file. Okay. And. Um, I think, I think we should be good. I think we should be good. Um, let's also do a chmod uh, on, so sudo chmod 755. That's, no, we're going to do var log, var log, var log, Hmm. Why can't I see var log? Var log. Remote logs. There we go. Okay, we want to do that. Okay, I think we should have proper rights now. So let's try that again. Let's do, uh, let's restart the service. So we're going to do a sudo system ctl. Um, Restart our syslog. So now let's do a sudo. Look at it now. Okay, you can see that it's active and running. So maybe now if we come back to our test, we might make a connection. Oh, look at that. Finished. Connected successfully. All right, so a little troubleshooting on the fly. Uh, never hurt anybody. Um, I think it actually probably um, makes the demo um, a little more appealing um, just as you know we learn as we go. Um, so I'm going to click Finish here. Um, and the last thing that I want to do is now I want to create a, uh, a new rule to use the new destination. So uh, let's call this uh, new rule one. Uh, we're going to just get Harmony email and collab. Um, we're going to use syslog, and the destination is the one we just created. And then we're going to hit create. Okay, so here's our new rule. Um, it did, it should have at least created a log on the test. So we should see that, and that would be confirmation that we're good to go. So let's come back to win SCP. Um, and let's go to uh, var log, remote logs. Here's the IP address of our Infinity Portal server. And look, we've got some logs. And you can see that that's what this is. So we know that the test was good. So that is how you get uh, um, Infinity Portal events um, um, exported to a an Ubuntu R syslog server. Um, 
you know, and you could do it in Red Hat. Um, you could um, use a Splunk server if you'd like, if you have one. Um, and and so for that was part one. Um, coming soon, I'm going to do a part two where we show you how to take those aggregated logs and get it to um, a cloud sim like Microsoft Sentinel or, or Sumo Logic. So that will be coming out here very soon. Again, appreciate it. Um, thanks for jumping on this call and spending the time with me. Um, I'll leave my email somewhere so that you can get to it as well. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Appreciate it.